Right, so hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a basic banking system or like a little internet banking system using um, object oriented programming. So without further ado, let's begin. So this banking system is going to have a few features. So in the previous tutorial we discussed parent classes and we also discussed um, child classes. So a parent class is pretty much the class um, which will have like basic information and then the child class will pretty much inherit all the information from the parent class. So a banking um, application is obviously going to have users on it. So the users are going to be the parent class because we're going to inherit the details from our user class. So this might sound like gibberish right now but it will make a lot of sense later. A user class needs to hold um, details about a an user and it needs to have a function that shows all the details that we've stored about that user. Whereas the banking app or the banking class, it will help us store details about account balance. So what the account balance is and bear in mind, each user will start from balance of zero. It will store details about the amount that's either being deposited, taken away or withdrawn. Um, and it will also allow for deposits, withdrawals and another feature called view balance to actually view the balance. Perfect. So let's begin. I'm going to create a new file and we call that uh, banking app using oop.py because obviously we're coding in Python. So once you've got that done, let's open this in idle and I'm gonna copy and paste these lines so that we know what we're working with here. Copy and I'm gonna paste them up here. I'm gonna comment all of this out so that it doesn't get in the way of our code. Right, and then I'm gonna reduce the blank lines. So let's begin by um, creating our parent class, which is user. Let me get rid of this. So parent class user, in the last tutorial I showed you how to create this. So try and do it off your head, but if you can't, just follow my instructions. So tap in class, and now it's gonna be called user, and capital U because that's just the naming conventions we're gonna be using. So class user, brackets, I'm not going to have any arguments here, and then you need to have a colon, press enter. Now if you remember in the last tutorial we had something called an initializer, which we're going to be adding right now. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore, and then we need to have the brackets as well. Now in here we're going to have the arguments that we need from our user. So I want the user um, to have a name, because obviously each user is going to have a name. I want the user to have an age. Um, I want them to have a gender and let's just roll with that for now. So I'm going to have an age, gender and name. So I'm going to put a colon in there and then I'm going to say self. Okay, forgot to do it again, but obviously we need a self um, variable in there as well. So when we add a self variable, it kind of recognizes it as it's referring to the object itself. So anything that's assigned to self is pretty much assigned to the object. So we do self.name. So we're creating a new property on our object equals name. Then we do self.age equals h and self.gender equals gender. So now we've got three different properties assigned to our object. We know this because we're using the self and whenever we use a dot anything on the self, it pretty much gets attached as a property or a function to, I mean, as a property or a method to this object, which can be created later. So right now it's just a class, which is why we're using self. So once we've done with that, I'm going to print all details. Actually, we don't need to do that. We're just going to be happy with this for now. We're also going to have, it says holds details about a user. So that's bits done in here. Okay, we can erase that off because that bit's complete. Now we have another bit that says has a function to show user details. So to do this, we simply create a another function, so def, but it's going to be called a method because we're obviously creating it inside a class, which is going to be converted to an object. So it'll be something like def show user details. Let's just do show details actually. And then in here, I don't want any arguments. I'm just going to type in self. So when I type in self in here, it pretty much, this function pretty much has access to every property and every method that is assigned to this object. So that's what we're going to be needing. I'm going to do print uh, user 
details. But let's just set account, uh, personal details. That sounds like right. Personal details. And then I'm going to do print that blank line, I guess. Print name, um, comma, self.name. Because remember, we're referring to the name that's already attached to the object. So we need to self. Um, age, comma, self dot age, and print gender, comma, self dot gender. Right. So that sorts out our first challenge, which is has a function to show user details, and that's our user class complete. Let's quickly run this program to see whether this all works. Run it. Hopefully, we have no errors. Okay, so I'm just gonna see what we have going over here. So we have a new user, so I'm gonna create a new user and I'm gonna assign it to a variable called Johan. So Johan equals user, which is the name of our class, open bracket, and it asks us for all the details that we asked in the initializer. My name is Johan, comma, age is 21, comma, gender is male. Close the bracket, press enter. Right, since there was no errors returned, we know that um, the object has been created successfully and it has assigned a name, an age, and a gender to it which has um, values which have been mentioned right here. Now we can go ahead and run the method that we got going in there. So johan.show details, open close brackets because we don't need any arguments. And here we are, we have personal details, name johan, age 21, and gender male. Cool. So the first part of our program is working perfectly. So this is our parent class completed. Just make a little comment up here saying parent class because we're going to be inheriting this class into our child class, which is going to be the bank. So parent class 